Anyway, guys, just a quick one. Um, we all carry a lot of us carry fire cord, and to me personally, I won't put that on a spool. I will. What I've done, I've put it on my zips. There's three feet of power cord, fire cord on every single zip I have, on and in my rucksack. So that's one thing I would recommend. That's a quick tip. Personally, instead of having a hundred feet on a spool and then cutting it off like you're using it for anything else, that's the way I think about it. I do have fifty feet on my belt, so I'll just show you quickly to push you back. You can see there the spider cord, and there the spider cord, and every single piece. Even that, apart from the red, of course, is fire cord. Same again. There. There. Up there, I'm sorting out. Um, so that's it. Every single zip. And most of my zip, as well, on the outside, not the inside, has a... Got to bring you forward again, sorry. <laughs> Has a ferroid toggle. I don't know if you can see that wet right there. It's a ferroid toggle. So that's my tip for you guys. Personally, you don't have to do the ferroid toggle things, but me personally, if you're going to do, if you're going to get fire cord, break it down and put it in places. Don't keep it as one height. That's my tip. tip. That's my top tip for you all today. Right. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.